It was a lot of work while I was there, but I did get to do a lot of stuff. So it wasn't till after all the stress was gone that I realized, wow, that was amazing. Fairly Dickinson University has been sending students to study overseas for more than 50 years. The first American university to own its own overseas campus, FDU has made Roxton College in Oxfordshire one of the premier programs for both undergraduate semester study abroad as well as shorter focused residency programs. Roxton was one of the main reasons I came to FDU because I knew that it was a once in a lifetime experience and I probably was not going to get out of the country if I didn't go during college. I had a lot of expectations going to Roxton. I heard about it from a lot of my friends had gone previously, so uh, academically I was expecting a very rigorous academic environment and socially it's a very different dynamics from either commuting here as I do or living on campus as many of my friends do. It's very different because you're all, it's a very small group all contained in a small, actually a large building, but small community. Well, when I actually started looking at colleges in the first place, I was looking at overseas experiences and the different programs that were offered and this Roxon experience that is offered at FDU really stood out to me. It's unique because, you know, we actually own the campus over there and all the classes and living experiences all happen in one building. So you really have a chance to bond with other students that you go with. Students come to the university specifically for the opportunity to study at Roxton. Others find it, like you, after they arrive. Everyone who thinks about this semester abroad has questions. And who better to answer them than Roxton Dean Nicholas Baldwin? Well, first and foremost, when talking to students about study abroad, I would urge each student to consider very seriously studying abroad anyway. I think it is a life-enhancing and a life-changing experience. As far as studying at Roxton is concerned, uh, one of the primary reasons is there's not a language difficulty. Uh, on the other hand, it is an experience of an entirely different culture. Often uh, the differences are unknown and unrecognized until you are living in the country itself. And then experiencing those differences uh, can be really quite a remarkable experience. At the college in this day and age, you may well be three and a half thousand miles from home, but of course with contemporary technology, uh, the internet, webcams, cell phones, uh, you're only as far away from your friends and family really as you want to be. The students agree, Roxton lives up to expectations. Life outside the Abbey was very interesting. Uh, you get a chance to really feel what England is like. Uh, because what you learn in the classroom is very interesting, but you don't get the feeling. And the Abbey is located right next to a town called Banbury, which is a three-mile trek. Uh, you can walk there if you'd like. And it's, uh, in my opinion, through my experience, it was the best way to get the feeling of being in a foreign land. So the students like it, the dean recommends it, and you're thinking about it. Just what and where is this Roxton College? As far as location uh, of Roxton is concerned, we are in the middle of England. We're 81 miles uh, northwest of London, from the very centre of London. We're um, almost halfway between the city of Oxford and the town of Stratford-upon-Avon. Stratford-upon-Avon, the birthplace of William Shakespeare. At Roxton Abbey uh, dates from 1217. It was an Augustinian priory. And it was that through until the reign of uh, Henry VIII, who in breaking with the Roman Catholic Church, the abbey ceased to be an abbey. Indeed, it was then heavily vandalized. And it wasn't until 1580 that the property began to become the family home for the North family. Lord North, the most famous or infamous Lord North, was prime minister of Britain and her colonies at the time of the uh, little difficulty between Britain and America, the War of Independence or the Revolutionary War, depending on your point of view. Today, the Abbey consists of the main building known as the Abbey and also the Coach House. Uh, the Coach House has been modernized and includes our kitchen, dining room, bar, tea and coffee area and main lecture hall. The Abbey 
uh, incorporates uh, various classrooms, teaching spaces, recreational rooms, libraries and another 45 double and single student study bedrooms. Each of the study bedrooms have their own uh, private bathroom facilities and it is all very self-contained for the students. Uh, they don't have a long walk to go to class. You can roll out of bed and be in class after about 35 seconds uh, as some of the students do. Life at Roxon is unlike anything I've ever experienced. The building and grounds are really special and as students we spend a lot of time together hanging out, eating and in class. We really made a lot of memories together. So how about the classwork? Is it different? Is it harder? What's the tutorial system everyone's talking about? I'm a business major. Can I go too? As far as the academics are concerned, uh, any student with any major can, with planning and early planning, uh, can come and take at least a semester at Roxton. We don't provide uh, every subject area at the college, but as I say, with forward planning, uh, any student can attend. Being a business major, it was a little bit more difficult to go to Roxton. However, they worked on my schedule and I saved my electives from the beginning and that's what I used to go over there and it turned out to be a very easy flowing experience. As far as programs that we do offer at the college, uh, we have uh, English language, English literature, theatre studies, communications, psychology, university core, creative writing, history, social policy, sociology, politics, fine art, economics, business, a whole variety of courses are available for students to take when at the college. Let me give you an example of political science. My students this semester, each semester, would be studying British government and politics, an introductory class to British government and politics, the system as it exists today. During the semester, we would have a number of visiting speakers, practitioners, members of the House of Commons, members of the House of Lords, people who've been involved in government coming to address the students at the college. But it's more than that. We would also take the students down to the Houses of Parliament for a tour of the property, the Royal Apartments, the House of Commons and the House of Lords, but also to meet with individual members of the House of Commons and the House of Lords to discuss with them the system of government and the current state of play in British politics so they can really get a first-class, hands-on experience of what the system really is. Another example would be our theatre classes. The students will study five or six plays that are being put on in theatres uh, uh, throughout the country, including, and most noticeable of all, the Royal Shakespeare Company in Stratford-upon-Avon. They will study the plays that are being put on. They will then meet with the actor, the director, the set designer to discuss with them why something has been done in a particular way, why it wasn't done in another particular way. And it's through that sort of approach to education that they can really get to understand the plays themselves. Surprisingly, my favorite trip was probably the one that we actually stayed close to the Abbey for. We went to um, Stratford-upon-Avon. We were, we were lucky enough to get a day that um, the Royal Shakespeare Theatre had an open house. And at that open house, they had all these behind the scenes of how the set was done, how the makeup was done, how the costumes worked, everything. And we spent the day basically doing theater stuff in Stratford-upon-Avon. And they were the last people to be there before they remodel it. So that was really exciting. So it looks like you can spend the semester at Roxton regardless of your major. They have core courses and electives. But what about the faculty? One of the key features at Roxton, and it's been a key feature from day one, is the faculty. We have a British faculty, an all-British faculty at the college, who teach in the British style. It's unlike uh, many other American study abroad programs who take the faculty from the United States and uh, plant them at the program in Britain, teaching the courses they would teach to the students they would teach in the way that they would teach, even if they stayed back uh, here in the United States. Fairleigh Dickinson has always taken a different approach. So students come from the United States, but they have a British faculty teaching in the British style with British experience. And it really does give the students a remarkably different, indeed I would say unique experience than other study abroad programs. 
At Roxton, we utilise the traditional British tutorial approach to education. For example, there may well be a dozen students signed up in a particular class. Those dozen students would meet for a minimum of a two-hour lecture each week with the faculty member or indeed with a visiting speaker. But it's more than that. That group of 12 would then be divided, subdivided, into four groups of three. And each of those groups of three would meet for an hour every other week with the faculty member. The onus would be on the students. They do the research. They then each make a presentation. That presentation is then discussed amongst the group with the faculty member. It's a way of really getting to know the subject matter. And both uh, as a student myself a long time ago and a professor, I think it is really the best environment in which to learn. So there are plenty of academic opportunities with a dedicated faculty in a unique environment. What about all the travel I hear about? During a semester which is 15 weeks long, the students will be with us studying at the college for the first seven weeks. They then have a week off, and indeed with the weekends either side it's ten days, and then they come back for another seven weeks. During that middle period, the middle ten days, spring break, fall break, the students can stay at the college, we still house them, we still feed them, and there's no additional charge for that. But mostly they decide to take themselves off, alone or with friends, and go and explore other areas of the United Kingdom, across to Ireland, or indeed across to the continent of Europe, indeed sometimes even further afield than that. They all take themselves off to Amsterdam, to Paris, to Rome, to Venice, to uh, Greece, to the Greek islands, sailing around the Mediterranean, go across to the uh, Canary Isles. And uh, that is a wonderful opportunity, and indeed in itself, not just a wonderful experience, but a wonderful learning experience too. Well, we went a million different places. I mean, we spent a weekend in Paris, a weekend in Edinburgh, which is probably my favorite, um, which is Scotland, probably my favorite weekend trip. Um, we went to Wales, we went to, um, on my spring break, I went to Ireland, so basically whenever around there. I was really looking forward to the trips. Uh, a lot of my friends told me that's the best part of the rocks and experience. Uh, some of my favorite trips were the weekend in Edinburgh, Scotland, and the weekend in London. I particularly enjoy a lot of the day trips. We went to Bath, Cambridge, uh, Stonehenge. There was also a, a weekend in Paris. For my mid-semester break, I went to Israel for a week. I was visiting a friend there. A lot of my friends went uh, all over Europe, Italy, Spain, and France were the hot spots. Fairleigh Dickinson University purchased the Roxton Abbey estate in 1963 did some renovations and then opened it for students in the spring of 1965. In the years since then, we've had more than 7,500 students pass through our doors, some for semesters, some for a year, some for shorter programs, but 7,500 students. It really is for those students, what they themselves say, a life-changing experience, certainly a life-enhancing experience. Indeed, the students themselves often say it's an experience of life to be remembered for the rest of their lives. Uh, it was a lot of work while I was there, but I did get to do a lot of stuff. So it wasn't until after all the stress was gone that I realized, wow, that was 